still haven't done this whole intro thing. I just, I'm gonna go through my like files and find like stuff to, oh my God, what in the world? <laughs> All right, so today I'm going to do uh, the cleaning of the inside of the car and we are going to do the cleaning of the outside of the car. And there are a lot of like odds and ends that need to be cleaned, moved, adjusted, tweaked, or anything like that. And that's basically what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna get like a real list of things that need to be done to this car so that I could like rest easy. Because when I drive it, I rest easy anyway, but like, it just, it just RVs, man. RVs, I don't know why. I, I mean, like, I, I don't get it how people drive these things all the time, like daily them. And I get it because they don't beat on it, but I beat on mine. So I I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's about to get, like, get sent to glory and I'm going to have to rebuild it. Luckily, I got another one on stand, so I'm not really worried about it. But like, it's just a lot of things, like a lot of small things that I need to do. So I don't know if I'll be able to get it on camera but there are certain things that have somehow caught fire here because i did have a small electrical fire um and i think what happened is that it got like the grommet from here has somehow went away I, I don't i put a little rubber grommet around it to try and make sure that it didn't do exactly what it did but it like fouled through the wire and the wire like arced and then it eventually caught on fire, which is dangerous as crap because, well, fuel pressure regulator and fuel filter. So I'm, I was, I, you know, I'm pretty sure I could have blown up, but it's okay. So I got to figure that out. I got to get all that old wiring out. And then there's more old wiring on the inside of here, right here that I got to get rid of. I got to run, these are the new wires that run to the switch panel to my radiator fan because, well, that's what was messed up. That's what caught fire. So I have to, I redid the wiring on that already. So it runs through here, through there, up under here to the side, up top right here, and then down to the actual radiator fans. So they are fully operational and everything. Now I'm gonna redo some of that wiring, kind of like clean up this rat's nest a little bit because for a while there, it looked horrible. It was lines here to there and just everywhere. So now I got them capped off and zip tied just to test them out, make sure everything works out as it should. Got to get rid of the, well, I don't necessarily have to get rid of the power steering line. I have a power steering pump. I don't have a power steering bracket. And finding a bracket for this thing is nearly impossible because well, I guess nobody makes them anymore. So a lot of people delete them. But this is a heavy girl. So it's like... I have to do something because it's 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 heavy. It's heavy. So trying to slide with this thing with no power steering, I mean, no. That's like putting an LS in a Miata and just no. So I got to do that. And then uh, I'm going to try and get this interior put together at least. At least get the interior fully put back together and get like all the miscellaneous things out of here, like boxes and trash and just caps and stuff. Uh, get my lights back up because I took them down to do some maintenance on them because we had some issues with them up front. And then I'm going to check my spark plugs because I'm going to try and get her started today. Um, and this will be the first time I've started her in months. <laughs> so I'm not sure how that's going to go, uh, but I'm going to just try and see what I can do, see what I can find out. And then I guess run like a compression test to make sure everything still runs healthy because I think what happened last time that made me not run her is the fact that she was having a hard time starting. And a lot of people say it was the idle air control valve, which I mean, yeah, but that's on the standpoint of it actually idling and not starting. It would at least start with a little bit of throttle. So, you know, it's a lot of like tinker things that are left with it. So that's basically all I'm going to do today. I'm going to do the inside first, then the outside, and then the spark plugs. And then I'm going to try and start it. So if it starts, great. If it doesn't, then we're back at square one, and then we're in diag mode. Uh, 